Our Lord Jesus Christ will come soon. He is coming right now in front of Jesus Christ who say, Yes, I am coming soon. We must be God's people who proclaim, Amen, come Lord Jesus. The Eternal and Unchanging Word of God One Story One Story 105 Revelation Part 2 New Heaven and New Earth, Amen, come Lord Jesus Revelation chapter 1 to chapter 22 This is the second half of the book of Revelation. There are many prophetic content starting with the human seal, the trumpet seal and the hospitality seal. However, in one story we will only go until the part suggested in the Bible. Understanding the seals It is better to see the same catastrophe in three different perspectives rather than seeing the three catastrophes, the human seal, the trumpet seal and the hospitality seal occurring at three times. So, the human seal is linked to the trumpet seal and the trumpet seal is linked to the hospitality seal, there will surely be a disaster. And it will be a very terrible catastrophe that is emphasized gradually as the three catastrophes are revealed. We also need to know that all those catastrophes are also happening from history, not in the distant future. Regarding the content of the plague, when Jesus' disciple asked, Tell us, when will this happen? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? He said, Watch out, that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name, claiming, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it, that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of birth pains. Then you will be handed over to be persecuted and put to death and you will be hated by all nations because of me. At that time, many will turn away from the faith and will betray and hate each other, and many false prophets will appear and deceive many people. Because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold. Therefore, the content of the three plagues in the book of Revelation can be viewed as an explanation of the signs Jesus spoke about. Rather than trying to know what the catastrophe's contents specifically means, we need to be alert and prepared as Jesus said. Believing that there will be a disaster and that Jesus Christ will surely come as a judge at the end of the disaster. How long until you judge the inhabitants of the earth and avenge our blood? When the fifth seal among the human seal was opened, John saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain because of the word of God and the testimony they had maintained, who call out, How long, Sovereign Lord, holy and true, until you judge the inhabitants of the earth and avenge our blood? This is not a shout of resentment saying, Please avenge our blood. It is good to see it as God's people who have already been martyred by faith, as God's people saying to God, God, when will the complete kingdom of God come true? The great day of their wrath has come, and who can stand? When the sixth seal among human seals was removed, the shape of the day of judgment was as there was a great earthquake. The sun turned black like sackcloth made of goat hair, the whole moon turned blood red, and the stars in the sky fell to earth, as late figs drove from a fig tree when shaken by a strong wind. The sky recited like a scroll, rolling up, and every mountain and island was removed from its place. Then the kings of the earth, the princes, the generals, the rich, the mighty, and every slave and every free man hid in caves and among the rocks of the mountains. They called to the mountains and the rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath has come, and who can stand? In God's time, judgment will surely come, and that judgment will be a swear judgment that no one can escape from. Salvation belongs to our God, who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. After the sixth seal, in the midst of the catastrophes of humans, John looked saw a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, tribe, people, and language, standing before the throne and in front of the Lamb, wearing white robe and holding palm branches in their hands, crying out in a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God, who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures, and they fell down on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen, praise and glory and wisdom and thanks and honor and power and strength be to our God for ever and ever. Amen. That's right. Only God and the Lamb who sit on the throne are worthy to be glorified. God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. One of the elders asked John about the crowd who were dressed in white, 
holding palm branches and standing in front of the throne of the Lamb, saying, These in white robes, who are they? And where did they come from? John answered, Sir, you know. Then he said, These are they who have come out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore, they are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in this temple. And he who sits on the throne will spread his tent over them. Never again will they hunger, never again will they thirst. The sun will not beat upon them, nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to springs of living water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. That's right, in God's time, God will wash away all the tears of God's children. During those days, men will seek death, but will not find it. They will long to die, but death will elude them. It is said that the fifth angel in the middle of the trumpet disaster blew the trumpet, and because of that terrible disaster, on that day men will seek death, but will not find it. They will long to die, but death will elude them. The excruciatingness of the disaster, which we had already seen during the human disaster, is drawn from a different perspective. There will surely be judgment. No one can avoid it. All inhabitants of the earth will worship the beast. All whose names have not been written in the book of life belonging to the Lamb that was slain after the creation of the world. John saw a beast coming out of the sea who had ten horns and seven heads with ten crowns on his horns and on each head a blasphemous name. The beast resembled a leopard but had feet like those of a bear and a mouth like that of a loin. And the dragon gave the beast his power and his throne and great authority. One of the heads of the beast seemed to have had a fatal wound, but the fatal wound had been healed. And the whole world was astonished and followed the beast. Men worshipped the dragon because he had given authority to the beast. And they also worshipped the beast and asked, Who is like the beast? Who can make war against him? The beast was given a mouth to utter proud words and blasphemies and to exercise his authority for 42 months. And he opened his mouth to blaspheme God and to slander his name and his dwelling place and those who live in heaven. He was given power to make war against the saints and to conquer them. The beast was given authority over every type, people, language and nation and all inhabitants of the earth will worship the beast. All whose names have not been written in the book of the life belonging to the Lamb that was slain from the creation of the world. The Bible says, He who has an ear, let him hear. Those who were not chosen by God before the creation of the world believe that this world, which is within the control of Satan, is all and lives, believing that this world, which is only for a short time, is eternal. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. An angel said that patient endurance is needed from the believers who obey God's commandments and remain faithful to Jesus. Then John heard a voice from heaven say, Right, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. And the spirits say, Yes, they will rest from their labor, for their deeds will follow them. That's right. The death of a believer is a blessing. This is because it is a true blessing, the gospel and salvation through Jesus Christ. So, death after living the life of a foreigner toward home is rest. Fallen, fallen is Babylon the Great. John once again saw an angel coming down from heaven who had great authority and heard him shout with a mighty voice, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the Great. She has become a home for demons and a haunt for every evil spirit and a haunt for every unclean detestable bird. This world is being portrayed as the world of Babylon, the world of dragons that symbolizes Satan. Its name Babylon appeared as a symbol of the kingdom of this world, enjoyed the world as if their power and authority were eternal. Continuously was warned of judgment by the prophets and was finally destroyed historically. Such as the great city of Babylon, this world will fall and all the forces of Satan will fall. Come out of her, my people, so that you will not share in her sins, so that you will not receive any of her plagues. God, who spoke of the fall of the great city of Babylon, said from heaven again, Come out of her, my people, so that you will not share in her sins, so that you will not receive any of her plagues. In the Old Testament, the Bible has already repeatedly proclaimed, Leave Babylon, flee from the Babylonians, announce this with shouts of joy and proclaim it. Send it out to the ends of the earth. Say, The Lord has redeemed his servant Jacob. Come out of her, my people. Run for your lives. Run from the fierce angles of the Lord. After being saved, we do not get power and authority in this world in the name of Jesus Christ, but instead out of this world in the name of Jesus Christ. So Apostle Paul once said, May I never boost except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. And Apostle John said, do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, 
the love of the father is not in him for everything in the world the cravings of sinful man the lust of his eyes and the boasting of what he has and does comes not from the father but from the world the world and its desires pass away but the man who does the will of god lives forever hallelujah 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 john heard what sounded like the roar of a great multitude in heaven shouting hallelujah salvation and glory and power belong to our god for true and just are his judgments he has condemned the great prostitute who corrupted the earth by her adulteries he has avenged on her the blood of his servants and again they shouted hallelujah the smoke from her goes up forever and ever the 24 elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshiped god who seated on the throne and cried amen hallelujah and then a voice came from the throne saying praise our god all you his servants you who fear him both small and great then john heard what sounded like a great multitude like the roar of rushing waters and like loud peals of thunder shouting hallelujah for our lord god almighty reigns let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory for the wedding of the lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready and the angel again told john right blessed are those who are invited in the wedding supper of the lamb these are the true words of god the time is coming the time when god's people will praise fear and glorify only god is coming and we have to run that life every day if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life he was thrown into the lake of fire john saw the dead great and small standing before the throne and books were opened and another book was opened which is the book of life the dead were judged according to what they had done as recorded in the books the sea gave up the dead that were in it and the death and hades gave up the dead that were in them and each person was judged according to what he had done then death and hades were thrown into the lake of fire and the lake of fire is the second death If anyone's name is not found written in the book of life he will be thrown into the lake of fire when that day comes a place to dwell forever will be determined by the book of life new heaven and new earth john saw a new heaven and a new earth the former heavens and the former earth disappeared and the sea where the beast with 10 crowns and 7 heads came out also disappeared and again john saw the holy city the new jerusalem coming down out of heaven from god prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband then john heard a loud voice from the throne saying now the dwelling of god is with men and he will live with them they will be his people and god himself will be with them and be their god he will wipe every tear from their eyes there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away at that time he who was seated on the throne said I am making everything new write this down for these words are trustworthy and true and it is done I am the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end to him who is thirsty I will give to drink without cost from the spring of the water of life he who overcomes will inherit all this and I will be his god and he will be my son but the cowardly the unbelieving the vile the murderers the sexually immoral those who practice magic arts the idolaters and all liars their place will be in the fiery lake of burning sulfur this is the second death now after all the process in this world are over the heavens the earth and the sea are gone and in the new heavens the new earth and the eternal kingdom of god we will become the complete people of god there are no more temples there because the lord god almighty and the lamb are its temple the city does not need the sun or the moon to shine on it this is because the glory of god gives it light and the lamb is its light the nations will walk by its light and the kings of the earth will bring their splendor into it on that day its gates will open and not be shut it is because there will be no night there the glory and honor of the nations will be brought into it by the people and nothing impure will ever enter it nor will anyone who does what is shameful or deceitful but only those whose names are written in the lamb's book of life in addition there is a river of the water of life as clear as crystal flowing from the throne of god and of the lamb down to the middle of the great street of the city and each side of the river stood the tree of life bearing 12 crops of fruit yielding its fruit every month and the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations there no longer will there be any curse the throne of god and of the lamb will be in the city and his servants will serve him they will see his face god's name will be on their foreheads there will be no more night and they will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun this is because the lord god will give them light and they will reign forever and ever god proclaimed i will be your god and you will be my people and finally came here with only god's zeal yes i am coming soon amen come lord jesus now it is the conclusion of revelation jesus sent his angel to show his servants the things that must soon take place and jesus christ said 
Behold I am coming soon blessed is he who keeps the words of the prophecy in this book Jesus Christ again said do not seal up the words of the prophecy of this book because the time is near let him who does wrong continue to do wrong let him who is wild continue to be wild let him who does right continue to do right and let him who is holy continue to be holy behold i am coming soon my reward is with me and i will give to everyone according to what he has done i am the alpha and the omega the first and the last the beginning and the end and jesus christ occupied the right to the tree of life and blessed are those who wash their robes that may go through the gates into the city and outside are the dogs those who practice magic arts the sexually immoral the murderers the idolaters and everyone who loves and practice falsehood and he proclaimed i jesus have sent my angel to give you this testimony for the churches i am the root and the offspring of david and the bright morning star then when the spirit and the bright say come those who hear say come and whoever is thirsty comes and whoever wishes takes the free gift of the water of life jesus christ said to all who heard the words of the prophecy recorded in this book i warn everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book if anyone adds anything to them god will add to him the plagues described in this book and if anyone takes words away from this book of prophecy god will take away from him his share in the tree of life and in the holy city which are described in this book and once again he said yes i am coming soon that's right after all the sufferings in this world are over our lord jesus christ will comes as the king of the kings the first heaven first land and the sea will disappear and god's eternal kingdom the new heaven and new earth is prepared god accomplishes the perfect will of god with unchanging zeal the lord jesus christ is coming amen come lord jesus hallelujah